Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, to follow on from the previous two videos, the first one, of course, is the WBC Heavyweight World Rankings, the top 15, where Tyson Fury is currently king. And, of course, the other video where Anthony Joshua is currently king with the WBA, IBF and WBO. I asked you guys, do you want me to do The Ring magazine? Because I did those other two videos just because they are the four belts that you need for Undisputed. Ring magazine, IBO, etc. You don't need them for Undisputed. But many of you said, do The Ring magazine as well. So here we go. Obviously, Tyson Fury is the current champion along with the WBC. Number one is Anthony Joshua, along with the IBF, WBA, and WBO. Number two is Dillian White, the WBC interim world heavyweight champion. Number three is Deontay Wilder, former WBC heavyweight world champion. King Kong, Luis Ortiz in at number four. He's never been a world champion, but pretty good amateur. Number five, the former WBA, IBF, and WBO, IBO, World Heavyweight Champion, Andy Ruiz Jr. Number six, the former WBA regular World Heavyweight Champion, Alexander Povetkin. Number seven, the former WBO World Heavyweight Champion, Joseph Parker. Michael Hunter, number eight. Oscar Rivas, number nine. And Kubrat Pulev, number ten. Now, is it a bad top ten? No, I don't think it's a bad top ten, but like any kind of rankings or ratings, you're always going to have people going, nah, don't agree with that. So you're never going to get it right. But is it a bad top 10? Not really. Personally, there will be a couple of guys in there that I would potentially remove from the top 10, such as maybe Luis Ortiz. I'm not going to say he's not a top 10 fighter, but he's certainly at number four, is he? I mean, he's lost two of his last five fights and hasn't defeated anybody of any great note and never been a world champion so in my opinion if you're going to put him anywhere maybe number 10 maybe number nine potentially alexander Usyk, of course a former undisputed um world cruiserweight champion but he has only had one fight at heavyweight so maybe he should be in the top 10 arguably sure because he has defeated the number eight in michael hunter we could go around, say, could say Dan Dubois or Joe Joyce or maybe Derek Chisora. Could he defeat any of these top 10? Potentially, sure. So there are some room, there is room for improvement. But overall, it ain't too bad. I mean, number three, Deontay Wilder. Technically, it's number four because um, obviously they don't give a position to the champion. It starts off as number one, Joshua, two, White, three, Wilder. Personally, after that performance against Tyson Fury, where he got, got absolutely annihilated, beat up, hit the canvas on multiple occasions, the only counted it twice, and his team threw in the towel. That, that's not warranting for a number three, in my honest opinion. And again, based on his resume as well, before he was champion, and while he was champion even, he didn't really fight anybody of any great note and defeat anybody of any great note great note unless of course you put Luis Ortiz who's never really done, it, done anything himself up there but could for example Joseph Parker beat Wilder he could could Oscar Rivas he could could Michael Hunter he could Povetkin certainly could so Andy Ruiz Jr again yes now there are quite a few that I mean we can bicker about it we can go backwards and forwards on it and this that and the other because we're never going to agree Okay, rankings are, for the most part, subjective, aren't they? Which is why I don't really do pound for pound, because it doesn't matter what pound for pound list you do, you're never going to please everybody. But I think overall, it's not a bad top 10, not necessarily in that order. But the most important part for me is Tyson Fury, champion, followed by Anthony Joshua, followed by Dillian White. The top three are all Brits. For me, that's great. Now, and I ain't going to argue with that, even in that position. If you think that Tyson Fury is number one in the world, cool. If you think number number one in the world is Anthony Joshua, cool. You think Dillian White could beat either of these guys? Sure, why not? Personally, I want to see a round robin between Fury, Joshua and White. That's what I want to see. Anyway, 
those other rankings. Drop your thoughts below about it, click thumbs up, and subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.